Welcome to Gold Setting Program, Lighthouse Educational Consultants, LighthouseEC.com. Dr. Brian, uh, are you lost? <laughs> I say that, but a lot of times when you don't have a goal, you seem lost. You bounce around from program to program, and I've seen it in many college students who've started off and uh, they were in one program and they didn't like how that was going, so they left that program for another one. And that lasted a couple semesters. And, Either it became too hard or really weren't interested. They just bounce around. They have no goal. Or they'll have a goal that's so vague, nobody could get to it, or the people who do get to it have narrowed it down to a, a real good focus. And I understand. I, my undergraduate, I was so out in left field. Hey, I just want to be blah. And, you know, I, I didn't know what blah was. All I knew was I needed four years worth of work, and how do I get there? Um, goal setting. How do you goal set? Well, you know, part of it is figuring out what goals are. How do you connect the goal from where you currently are to where you want to be? The job you want, the career you want, what skills do you need to get all that? Sometimes it's not a skill, you need a diploma in a certain area. And when I talk about that, I, I want to be a doctor. Well, you can't get a law degree to be a doctor. At some point you need a medical degree to be a doctor. Now there are some medical doctors out there who are lawyers, I'm not saying you couldn't connect it to. But at some point, to be a doctor, you need a medical degree. Or if you want to be an academic doctor, you need a PhD, an EDD, a DBA, whatever it could be. My doctor, it's an EDD. And I had to write goals down. I had to say, this is important right now. And things get in the way. We talk about all this in this goal setting program. We also try to look at what's your motivation to get that goal. Are there are some internal, external motivating factors. Is it job security? Is it, you know, I've got to do this for my own self-esteem? There's many different factors involved, but we're going to have to pull out the right one. What is motivating you? And is that a realistic thing in your life? And sometimes it's not. Mom and dad say I need to be this, and they're just pushing me to that. But that's not your goal. That's mom and dad's goal for you. Sometimes you have to get clear on what goal is for you and what's your motivation. So again, we'll talk about the internal and the external. What's your dreams? What do you dream about? You know, and a lot of times our dreams start as kids and we start building up. And I'll be honest, I have a five-year-old. You talk, you ask him what his dream to, to be is later in life, my dream is to be a superhero. All right, that, that, fine, great. Superheroes are not just in comic books. They're in all spectrums of life. Now, later on, I'm going to have to divert that. I want to be a superhero and do a certain job I think is good for me or, or a certain career skill set. That's my job as the parent at some point. But as the child, and a lot of times we have these dreams as children that build up later on in life. So you've got to focus on what your dreams were. What are your priorities? What do you need to get done? And a lot of times all this stuff, you know, once you pick a goal, I'm going to do this, you've got to start prioritizing your life. And sometimes that prioritizing is saying no, learning how to say no to others or to, hey, I've got to get this done first. How do you develop your own goals? And we go through a step-by-step -step process of developing your own goals. And when I say this, the program itself is almost an hour long. It includes four worksheets. There may be a fifth one I've kind of been debating. I'm also debating on actually going in and doing a 10 to 15 minute video of step by step how do you develop a goal from infancy all the way to written and then how do you work it out. I just haven't had the time to do it. But the other part of it's done. So you can get it in there. And if you do buy this program and at any point we add on to it, because you've purchased it, you'll automatically get the upgrades. We'll just email it to you. You just got to keep an active email with us. So how do you develop your goals and actually going step by step? What are the pitfalls? And when I talk about pitfalls, that's everything. And especially in college, some of the pitfalls that we see are what I like to call the weed out class. Somebody say, well, what's the weed out class? What's the class put in front of you to really stop the people who don't want it? And a lot of times for medical school, school students, it'll be calculus or organic chemistry or inorganic chemistry physics whatever the case may be but basically what is happening is the class is difficult it's going to take a lot of time if you can't pass that class you're never going to get into medical school you're never going to make it there so it's weeding out the people who really don't want it that really don't want to study and not that calculus is harder you couldn't do it of course you could do it the question is are you putting the time in to get there but again that goes back to your goals is that your goal to get this and then procrastination, which is the killer of any goal setting. Because you're wasting your time doing something that's not a priority. So we're working on all this in goal setting. It's important. And the reason why it's important, because if you have a good goal, 
if you're actively working towards it, if you're paying attention to your goals, you can be anything you want. Academic success will be the easy part. Picking the job that you really want to do later on in life is going to be the hard part, but you're going to have all the skills in place to go get that. So, goal setting is important. We got a program out there for you. I said about an hour, a couple different worksheets, planning to add some more to it. If you purchase it now or in the future, you will always get any updates. So thanks. Um, look for other Lighthouse products. We offer stuff on kindergarten success, on study skills, time management, wanting to be an academic doctor. Uh, we're actually putting together two programs right now. One is on uh, learning how to write at college level. The other one is uh, wanting your child to be a um, professional, meaning a doctor, lawyer, engineer, something like that. Uh, please click on the link below and sign up for our email list. With joining our email list, you're going to get four free videos. And they're on learning styles, uh, support system, brain games, and the brain dump. And, hey, good luck in reaching all your educational goals. Thank you.